Okay, in today's video, we are putting the Odeon out of business. Hey. Anchor. Now, here at TechFlow, we've been a fan of Anchor since, God, what? Five, five, six years? More. Maybe. Yeah, so basically this runs Android, as well as it being a projector, it runs Android TV. So technically you don't need like a source, like a laptop or a computer or a games console to plug into this and actually get content onto it. The device is a standalone sort of media hub and projector in one. Not sure if you can see that, but Chromecast built in and Dolby Atmos. May, look at that. Oh. Clover connection there, we've also got HDMI in, USB there. Now one of the main problems with projectors is actually lining them up on your screen, so you have to get them usually dead on. But with this it has the sort of automatic feature where it uses cameras on the front of this device to actually look at the projection itself and auto level itself, sort out the keying and different things like that. So you get basically a perfect image every time you plonk this thing down. Okay, let's check out some of the accessories that we get in here. Ooh! Okay, so there is our little media remote. I'm not sure if you can get a little zoomy on that, but we've got a few uh, bits and bobs there. We've got YouTube, Prime Video, Disney, Netflix. We've got our assistant logo there. Bro, the back of it comes off to reveal, like, oh. something. Well, I have no idea why that had to happen, but it happened. <laughs> Okay, so as you can see, it's currently the evening outside. Perfect time to go and test out this new projector. Now, if you think about projectors just for a second, they're usually quite bulky, mounted up on a ceiling and have to be professionally aligned. And once they're installed, they're set and ready to go. With this device, they've sort of completely rethought the projector. So you've got a carry handle on top. This thing's meant to be portable. It's got built-in speakers. What we are going to do today is take this thing outside and test it for streaming and also test it with some games gaming as well to see what the gaming performance is like and just what this thing is like run and gun. They're expecting you to take this out camping with you, different things like that. You chuck it in the boot and off you go. So we're not going to go camping, but let's just go and see what this thing can do. <laughs> mate, 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 what's going on right now? Okay, so guys, here we are. We've got everything set up. Now, before I spoil all of this for you, I just want to talk a little bit about lasers because this is what makes this thing so special for two reasons. Now, lasers, you may have heard of laser TVs. They're super, super expensive, but laser tech for projectors is actually much cheaper to produce. Sorry, let me just wait for this car to go. As I was saying, laser tech for projectors is much cheaper to produce. Therefore, they can put it in these projectors at a much lower cost. Why do we want laser? Number one, for lower power consumption. They've made this projector so you take it out, it's portable. We're currently powering it off my car's outlet. And number two, it should be super, super bright. As you can see, well, in a second, I'm going to walk over there and reveal this to you. This is, I think, over 150 inches. Take a look at this. Okay, so the inbuilt stream is working fine. Netflix is working fine. The quality is honestly amazing, but now I'm itching to try some gaming. We've got the laptop in here. Let's get it hooked up. Okay, so we are in a game of Back for Blood, as you can see, Xbox controller here. Now, the gaming performance on this projector really isn't anything to write home about, but the quality is really, really good, considering we're outside right now at about 200 inches. Okay guys, so there you have it. That's the Nebula projector. It was super, super simple to set up. I literally mounted it on a tripod. The thing automatically calibrated itself, did all the keystone. As you've seen, it looks absolutely great, even out here at 200 inches. This thing is awesome, and I think if you got it for anything you wanted to project, you really wouldn't be disappointed. Anyway guys, my name's been Alex, this has been TechFlow, and yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.